How's it going guys? It's me David here for another shave and I got two things that I'm going to touch on today. First, I'm going to be using for the very first time Strop Shop Russian Tea. Yes, Strop Shop is no longer in uh, in business, but I was able to get this from a buddy of mine that reacted poorly to his skin, so he sent it over to me. Doesn't smell like a black tea, doesn't smell like the Earl Grey tea, it smells like double mint gum. I don't know what the hell Russian tea is supposed to smell like, so I'm just going to have to trust, uh, you know, take their word for it. So, yeah, it smells a lot like double mint gum, which, which is cool. You know, probably not something that I would reach for all the time, but I can see how people like it. So, Russian tea, this is a tallow-based soap, which, again, my water has been exceptionally hard recently. Soaps have been acting a little finicky with me. So, we'll see how this reacts. If it reacts a little poorly, it's probably not the soap's fault. It's probably my water. The water has been undesirable lately. So, and also, I'm going to be checking out the edge that my buddy Bobby put on this razor right here. This is a ZY. It's from the same company that makes it. Can you see that, you? It says, it says Pro Extra Sharp, no stain. So, it's a ZY razor. It's by the same company that makes gold dollar. Um... Not bad. Um, of course, with most gold dollar type razors, um, some of the geometries off, the little sloppy. Also, you usually have to make modifications. Um, Bobby here, he did some of the cleanest modifications that I have mm -hmm. seen people do. A nice angular um, heel, very cleanly done. Uh, looks like that's how it's supposed to be. And then also he did a little bit off of the toe as well. So probably one of the better mods that I've seen on, on a gold dollar razor. Again, ZY, same company. I guess this is the more updated version of the razors they're selling. Um, he also said that minimal homeware. Usually when I see gold dollars, there's like a lot of homeware. Very minimal. And he said primarily when if you're going to see a lot of homeware on the gold dollars is to fix some of those geometry issues. And it's also to really force the issue on getting a real like clean, even bevel. This is not a completely even bevel. The bevel on the side that I'm looking at right now with the etching is smaller than the one on the opposite side. But he said it shouldn't affect the edge. The the uh, uh, uneven bevel, as long as the bevel is set correctly, like you don't see if it's, it, it, it shouldn't affect the edge much, really. So, not a bad job. So, looking forward to, of course, plastic scales. A little pretty much on par with the black ones or carbon ones you'll see on the gold dollars. And pretty much he just wants my opinion on the edge. So, we're going to check it out here for him. He doesn't uh, do it for, for profit, the, the pony razors. He usually does it for his buddies and for new guys that are getting into the hobby. Um, you can check him out on Instagram, Black Sheep Shaving, or also BandDT929, I, I believe. Nice dude. You know, my peoples. I don't like dealing with assholes, so if, if I'm messing with him, you know, he, he's a reasonably decent guy. Nah, but he's good people. So I'm gonna load real, 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 real heavy because again, my water has been bad, and tallow soaps usually are the ones that suffer the most when my water's bad. So I'm truly gonna give this up every chance it can to succeed. And I've used the shop shop before, and it works well. It's just so again, if I'm having issues, it's gonna be more a thing of my of my water as opposed to this soap. Dip a little bit more water here, and get a little bit more product in here. Looking nice and creamy on the brush, though. So. so today is Saturday. I don't know. I mean, today's Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to upload this right away. But Sunday, my wife's boss bought the employees and, of course, family members tickets to go see a Galaxy game. So we're going to go to the Galaxy game, which are always fun. I'm not a huge fan of soccer, but the vibe at these Galaxy games is pretty damn awesome. So I think I've loaded about as much product as this damn brush will hold. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it works. Wet we'll the face. Get some nice hot water going. And again, this is a pre-shower shave. I haven't showered yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower afterwards. Let's work this in. So far, looking good. I just 
got to be mindful because I'm so spoiled again with most artisan soaps and stuff. When my water's good, a 10, 15 second load is really all I ever really need to do. And so if soaps are suffering, it's kind of my fault that just give them a, give them a nice little 30 seconds load and stuff and we'll be good. A lot of products here, so make sure I properly hydrate. Now I gotta cross my T's and dot my eyes, especially since trying out an edge. I wanna make sure that I give it a proper lather as well. Very nice. This is one of Chris Bailey's uh, favorites in when it comes to the Strop Shop lineup. Check it out with the grain. Very nice smooth edge. This was done on synthetic stones. Um, he did uh, Nanowaz and Chocera's. He gave me the breakdown of it, and, but I didn't like write it down or something. But yeah, it's a, it's a full synthetic lineup all the way up to a 20K. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And I'm not a real big edge snob um, in terms of having it to be up to like a 20 or 30K. I can happily shave off of a 12K. But it doesn't mean these little added luxuries of uh, having a 20 or 30K head. This is my goatee brush. Get a little soap on it just like gonna brush the goatee out of the way. I wanna chop off a big chunk of it. Like when you get an edge from Anthony Esposito, I think he's going all the way up to a 30K. Which, that's some sharp shit, so. Very nice. So, so far so good. So it's doing his job. It's performing well. So good. And then also, this edge is nice. Really, really sharp. Again, since I don't have a very thick beard growth, it's probably actually too sharp for, for my needs. But, you know, I guess you really can never really have a blade that's too sharp. It's better to be too sharp than not sharp enough. This blade, after about three shades, will start to settle in and be a little bit closer to my preference. But it's still smooth. Mm -hmm. And again, just the mod work. Again, there's no custom mod like you'll get from uh, the Scottish Razor Company. But just the modifications he, he did just so that it could hone properly. They're just clean. They're very, very, very clean lines. And that's just something you could tell that's not pumping out a bunch of razors to make a bunch of money off of it. You could tell it's like, it's, a, it's with a little bit more care, love, and attention. Because you send it out to, to friends. So that I can appreciate. A lot, a lot of soap in the go to. I wonder if there would be a way to harvest some go to here and make a shave brush. 
I know it's a little bit more floppy and stuff, but maybe you could pack it a certain way or set it at a low loft that it'll work, because that'd be pretty interesting. Obviously not off of one goatee, but maybe if you grow it out for a few months and keep harvesting it, I would be interested in seeing that happen. Yeah, this will be working out real nice, so I can either that way extra loading or my water is starting to get back nice. Either way, hell of a job here. And now the true task, we're going to go with the money pass, the against the grain, see how this edge really can do. I'll tell you though, this edge is sharp. It's really, really sharp. I can feel. And it just hanging hair tested a, a hair. One of my goatee hairs were kind of off to the side and kind of just chopped it off. Very And usually with really cheap scales like this, you may feel that the blades are little, that the the razor is a little unbalanced. But no, I'm not having this problem with this razor. I'm sure the added um, the additional weight taken off by the mod helps. All right, Bobby, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the truth, man. Um, your edges are the real deal, bro. That, that actually feels really, really, really nice. So I'm definitely happy with your edges, bro. I'm just lucky, man. I've been, again, having the YouTube channel and just being involved in the social media. I know a whole lot of people that could put some nice edges on razors, man. So, But it's definitely something that um, in the future... Um, if you ever are taking that work, I'd be willing to send you a razor to me, Tony, because uh, that's some nice stuff. And the soap is still doing its job. Third pass and no real drop off in, in quality right there, so that's good. stuff and something I want to do which probably maybe someday I'll get somebody to mod something for me with it with one of these uh, gold dollar ones 
I've been wanting a shorty blade. Something that cuts maybe a good inch off of the off of the heel. Not the heel, I'm sorry, the toe. And just have a real short blade. Why? I don't know why. I just desire one. Kind of like if you know the Camasores. They have a significantly shorter blade length. But Camasores bother me with their Japanese grind. Um, I like Western grind. I just generally like having scale. So I think, yeah, I think I have to get somebody to do that, something, do that for me. Make myself right here in the Adam's apple, which is common, especially again with a blade as sharp as this one feels. And I'm telling you, this blade is freak. It, it, it's legitimately sharp. So, I got myself just little nicks, not even a cut, but just little blood spots going on right there on my neck. No big deal. It doesn't bother me like it used to. Like the cuts used to bug the shit out of me. But now, again, this is just going to be a an indication that it, the blade is sharp as shit, for, especially for me. Okay, and before I wrap everything up, I'll just show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pair this with the Lifestyle Aftershave. Um, not that it particularly goes with it, but it's going to make for a cool uh, shave of the day photo because it all matches with the black and white printing. And just I'm telling you, the the conditioning on this aftershave is just, it's just top notch. I really, really like it. And my wife like, loves the scent on me. So happy wife, happy life. So I'm going to go with that. And again, I just I can't continue to pray, especially for uh, Tiki. Amanda, Just this is her very first version of the aftershave. To be able to give the conditioning properties that it does, I'm actually really impressed. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that. But I'm going to jump in the shower first before I add that. Probably add some witches right now just to uh, freshen my face up. Um, and then I'll follow up after the shower with the aftershave. So, thank you guys for joining me. Oh, thank you for everybody that's been ordering the lifestyle sets and the sandal and fumis from SoulSharpLimited.com. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for everybody that's just really been sending me a lot of positive vibes. What happened now? Hi. Jesus Christ. Well, the wife had to interrupt me with that bad news. But just thank you, everybody. Oscar Sanchez, Erica uh, Salmon, Erica Lynn Sachs. I think that's her name, Salmon, Salmon. But Erica, thank you for all your positive vibes. Uh, Jamming G.I. James, uh, Tim Lee, everybody else, I really appreciate you. But there's certain individuals that go out of the way just to send positive vibes my way. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that uh, from you guys. And also, uh, Dar Darth Razor. Um, I know his real name, but I don't know if he wants his real name out there, but hey, bro, I appreciate you. Um, I'm glad your wife is enjoying the, the, the lifestyle scent and just thank you guys, man. Cause it just really helps me keep going, um, getting people to go out of the way and say the things that they do, uh, to me, about me, about my family, about our products. So you guys, uh, just have a blessed day and you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you guys on the next video.